What is up guys, Petrify here, we're hopping back on Operation Scorpion today, and I kind of want to talk about recoil, because when I made my last video, everybody commented down below, and the hot, most complaints was about the recoil patterns in this game. The main reason why I want to make this video is to help a lot of you guys out with the recoil control, so to make it where there's practically no recoil when you're shooting at people, and two, to kind of prove to you that the recoil isn't bad in this game. It is a little bit much, they need to lower it a tiny bit, but it is not that bad as you guys think. So I kind of want to just make this video overall to help a lot of you guys out. So we're going to go ahead and go with the default M4. All I'm going to put on it is a reflex sight because honestly, I don't like using iron sights on any gun in this game. Uh, but the reflex sight doesn't change any of the recoil or anything like that. It doesn't change any of the stats. The reason why I'm just going to use a reflex sight is because it doesn't change any of the stats whatsoever. So if you look here, this is all it changes at the time. It doesn't change anything else. Uh, if we were to put on a grip, it will change some of this stuff uh some of the stats here but what we're gonna do is we're gonna rock literally nothing we're not gonna touch any of the stats on the weapon we're gonna leave it as is just put an optic on it and that's it i'm gonna go and hop into a game real quick and kind of show you guys uh what i'm talking about with the recoil but i do want to show you guys a, a quick snippet what it's supposed to look like when you're shooting in game so when i go to shoot at somebody or shoot in general in operation scorpion this is what my mouse would look like if it had the cursor still there ready here we go that's what it would look like while I'm shooting is pulling down. Now, this is a very known thing that happens in a lot of games when it comes to recoil. Uh, it's in PUBG. It's in uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 4. It's in CSGO. The place where I learned it the most is mainly CSGO. That was the first place I ever really learned how to control recoil uh, with the AK, the M4, uh, A A1S. I forget what they call it. The A1 the suppressor version of the m4 uh also with the p90 just a lot of weapons in csgo you had to do a lot of pulling down and pulling down to the right pulling down to the left all the guns had different recoil and that's sort of what they're trying to do with this game which isn't a bad thing it makes it where you can kind of have you have the ability to learn different guns and the guns that fit your play style and what you're best with and that's not a bad thing to do honestly if they have random recoils for different guns in the game i'm a-okay with that because it, make it, it makes it where you have to try to learn all these different guns. If you guys don't like that, I can understand. Because most of you guys are probably coming from Phantom Forces where it just has a traditional uh, recoil. But even in Phantom Forces, some guns I do slightly pull down on. But it's not that bad. So let me hop straight into a game and show you guys what you guys are doing compared to how I control the recoil. If he gets this, no way. No way he gets this. Wait, why'd you stop? No. Oh, come on. You had it, dude. And he still gets it. Oh, my God. Come on. I believe in you. <laughs> no way he still gets this. <laughs> uh, he had the ninja defuse, though. He had that if he would have held it. All right. So let me show you guys what you guys experience when you're not controlling the recoil. I can understand why some of you guys complain because this is what it looks like when you don't control anything at all. Uh, so we'll do it at this, this wall, right? Actually, we'll just do it straight ahead right here. So this is what it looks like for you guys when you're not controlling the recoil. Yes, obviously that is a lot. They can definitely reduce that a little bit. But this is what it looks like when I control the recoil. See what I mean? It's a lot less than what you guys think. And I can control it even better than that. My mouse is just in a bad position. But, like, look. It's pr practically a laser. And you don't even need to shoot for that long to control it for that long either. You technically only need to shoot for this long. And that's about it. That's all it should take to kill one person. And we're getting rushed here, so let me actually push out a spawn. There's one. And it is better to aim for the head so you don't have to shoot as long either. Uh, definitely does help. I do want to check behind us. Okay, we got... Oh, let's go, boys. We won. As you can see, that's just a default M4 with no grip, no, no compensator at all. Just a reflex sight. And it, it would technically be the same with the iron sight. It doesn't change anything when you put an optic on your gun. I just kind of want to show you guys that it is possible to control the recoil in this game. The way you guys were talking about in the comments the other day when I did upload this uh, game, a lot of you guys were saying it's impossible to control the recoil. And I always see people complaining in the, the chat in the bottom left. And I will agree with you. Yes, it does need to be changed a little bit. The recoil needs to be completely different than what it is now. It needs to be reduced a lot. But... In this current time, it is controllable, but...
but in order to control it you got to kind of understand it a little bit and i promise you playing playing for just one hour max some people lo learn faster than others some people learn slower so if you learn slower probably an hour of playing this game of actually shooting at people and, and shooting your gun because a lot of the time you don't actually get to shoot at people nor shoot your gun in this game because you just can't get in games that are full or anything like that which sucks but i promise you it won't take that long to learn like i just crossed to there we go we got him oh well i was kind of putting all my trust in my teammate to watch that angle for me and i looked away and i died rip this man literally just got all of us now he feels like he's an insane gamer bomb it just picks it up for you when you run over it i seen a guy cross he's right here uh but yeah and usually you just have to run over the bomb and it auto pick is and picks it up so i'm not used to physically picking up the bomb oh i'm in simi i was in simi that kind of scared me dude but I do kind of hope that each gun in this game does have a different recoil just so that we have that learning curve to every gun in the game and some recoils are going to be more than others. Uh, something like that sort of kind of like a CSGO kind of feeling to it and CSGO does it perfectly. I don't know if that was a teammate or not. I don't see his thing through the wall so I'm guessing not. So I'm assuming the last guy's X or we could be planning at Y. Jesus, his zigzagging, dude. He almost got away. Dude, I, I believe he's seen my shadow and literally took off. He, he, he was getting out of there, dude. <laughs> he's like, nope. There's absolutely no way he goes X. If he does, I'm surprised. Got him, boys. Let's go for that defuse. I don't know. I don't even know if there's another person alive. I'm just going for it. We really need an indication telling us when people are alive or who's not. Um, also, I feel like at this point, this game feels so arcadey and fast-paced where we need either a kill feed because I don't really see one. And then we also need either medals or XP pop-ups. But as soon as they even considered putting dances in the game, I know it's like a mainstream thing to have dances in your game at this point. But as soon as they even thought about that, that made it not tactical at all. Which isn't the worst thing. It's a tactical shooter. It's an arcade tactical shooter. Which honestly, I think will benefit them, benefit them a lot more. And it'll also make the game a lot better as well. Making a milsim mil realistic style game on Roblox really isn't the best strategy in my opinion. Especially since you had to, you know, categorize younger people as well i know there are some young people that might be into games like that but it's very rare when you find those people so making an arcade style slash a tactical style style when it comes to weapons objective uh gameplay and i'm sure there's going to be grenades and stuff in the game as well so there's going to be a lot more strategy that goes into the game with nade spots everything like that uh but other than that it's still an arcade shooter in the old edition of the game it strictly felt like a tactical shooter didn't feel arcadey at all really other than the respawning each round, but every game has to have that. If you're trying to go for like a search and destroy base competitive game, you got to have some sort of respawn, uh, whether it's each round or constant respawn. But if you guys want me to give this game a comparison to another game, honestly, it would be sort of like a Call of Duty meets uh, R6, I guess. Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, with the feeling of search and destroy and call of duty or csgo whichever you guys like to prefer uh whenever we would talk about search and destroy or anything like that for a game mode in some games i guess he's diffusing i don't know if any more are alive but call of duty also has a search and destroy mode but so does csgo also rainbow six siege is an arcade tactical shoot <laughs>
So I know guys usually come from this door right here. But they can also come from behind me because there's like a spot that they can jump down. Which is kind of worrying. Dude, the effects. Like, look at the smoke. Like, that just looks amazing. You don't see games like that usually. What's up, dude? I don't know if I got you or not, but I'm going to push in here. Got him. The hit fire might be a little bit too accurate. That's what I've noticed. Dude, where's this bomb at? I don't understand. Yeah, I got him. Gotta be careful for somebody else jumping down. Kinda wanna go up this ladder. Let's go up it. There's still a lot of things that they need to add into this game. Especially the walking ability so you don't have to aim and lean around corners to, you know, be quieter. I know they had like a scroll system, kind of like Escape from Tarkov in the first edition of this game, where you could scroll to walk quieter and walk slower. Uh, but honestly, that wasn't even the best uh, system to put in the game. It is smart to do, but it's not the best system because a lot of people won't even understand that, and it's also kind of weird. I never really liked that in EFT. Really wish it would tell me where the bomb's at. I'm assuming this guy's just camping the bomb. Oh, I think that's the indication where the bomb's at right here. Gotta make sure he's not on this left side. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Where was he? He's sitting right here. I If I would have looked right instead of left. Come on, man. Hey, let's go. I actually found the dude. He was sitting in spawn with the bomb. Forgot that I don't have teammates and I didn't pick up the bomb. Oof. Alright, so I'm literally by myself, which I don't mind. So I'm going to try to take on these two people. I don't know if they're splitting up or if they're playing together. If they're playing together, it might be a little bit harder, but we'll see. There's one guy here. I just seen him between the cracks. I have already held this angle beforehand, so he might be trying to uh, peek this. Maybe. He's really peeking it slow, though. He went for it, dude. Don't see anybody between the cracks. So the last guy must be downstairs. The bomb's not here, so the last guy has the bomb. I hear him to the bottom right, maybe? Or to see? Oh. Oh, right, let's go, boys. I got him. So what I'm going to try is be really reckless now uh, when it comes to this section over here. Now, what I hate running down this alley is that they can come right up from the staircase right in front of me. But the best thing to do is go left here. And then you just have a really good angle if they try to push out. When it comes to this wall over here. Also, if you actually can get over here fast enough, you can see between the cracks. There's one right there. Got him. So what I'm going to do instead this time, I'm going to go ahead and go on the opposite side and jump down. But he might actually come up those stairs and plant Y. This guy couldn't have gotten far. There's no way. He's got to be like right here. Got him, boys. I waited long enough. I was actually going to hop on it right there and just go for it. Because I didn't know if he was going to actually wait or what. So I'm going to go ahead and push this alleyway real quick. Oh, one crossed. Alright, so we know for a fact one's right here. He went straight for it. He jumped straight down. I want to follow. So the last guy should be over here somewhere. 
because he was holding down this angle. Or he usually does anyways. I just hope he didn't try pushing through. He ain't gonna shoot me in the back. Got him, boys. Let's go. Hopefully, I did help you guys figure out how to control the recoil a little bit better. Like I said, don't use a grip on this gun. It just increases the recoil even more. It doesn't really necessarily increase the recoil. It makes it harder to control. Uh, because it, I don't, if you guys want a kind of description of why that happens, I guess I'll give it to you. But as you can see, the recoil recovery, right? It's at 2.1. You put this on, it drops all the way down and increases the recoil. And you want this recoil recovery as high as possible, so you don't have to pull down as much, and nor as fast. You want to just have it where you barely have to pull down, and you don't have to do it fast at all. Uh, if you put on this, it does increase the recoil recovery, but it increases that spread a lot. It might be good to use it, I'm not too sure. I haven't tested out the angle grip yet, but if I do uh, test it out in the near future, I will definitely tell you guys in another video if it's worth using the angle grip or not. I'm going to go ahead and buy it right now. And I'm going to throw it on and test it in my next video. Anyways, I'm going to end the video here. Hope you guys did enjoy it overall. Hopefully, I did help you guys a little bit. And if I did, you can smash that like button down below. If you guys ever have any other issues with this game, you can comment them down below. And I can try to help you guys with that as well. But I'm going to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I love you guys. Peace out.